Hello, hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you're feeling okay. Okay, if again, if you're not at school, we are really missing you and we can't wait to see you soon. If you are at school, superstars for doing some extra work when you've come home. Okay, so last time we were thinking about our number of the week, which was one more than nine. Well done, 10, fantastic. But for the rest of the week, we are going to think about one less. Okay, so today we think about one less. So what we need to do, one less, is when we take an object away. So what we're going to do first is, usually we count all the way to 10 and then back again. But today, I think you're doing so well that we are ready to count all the way to 20 and then all the way back to zero. Are you ready? Let's go. We'll do claps and pats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Stop there. Let's go all the way. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, so what I need you to do is to go and get six objects from around your house. So again, I've done this at home so that you can see that we can use it with anything that you want from around your house. So I'll show you what I've got. I've got a tambourine. I've got a torch. See if it works. Oh, it does. Okay, a torch. I have got a body bear. So a teddy. I've got a robot a hedgehog and a ball. Can you see it flashing? A flashing ball. By the way, what do you know about hedgehogs? Can anyone remember? Hedgehogs are nocturnal. What does nocturnal mean? Can you copy that now? Well done. Nocturnal means it's an animal that goes to sleep in the day and wakes up at night. And when it gets to winter, what do hedgehogs do? Fantastic, they hibernate. That means they have a big sleep. Well done. Okay, so back to maths. So go and get, pause the video, go and get six objects from around your house and then come back. Okay, hello, are you back? Right, have you put them in a line? Because remember, it's easiest to count things when they are in a straight line. Right, so get your counting finger ready, okay, one at a time, don't go too fast, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's our number six by the way, that's how many we've got, six. Okay, so what we are going to do today is I have got the big dice from school, one of our big dice, so I will roll the dice, okay, and that's how many objects we need to count out. So I'm going to roll this dice. Okay, can you see what it's landed on? Well done, what's that? Do you know it without counting? Oh, fantastic, let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Five, so I want you just to get five of your objects. So count out five and get rid of any more that we've got. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to take that one away, pop it over there. So make sure that you've just got five. Okay. And I'm going to, if you want, you can record, or you might want to do this a bit later, on a piece of paper. I've got a whiteboard. So at this side, I'm going to write the number. So the first number was five. Five. Okay. And here, I'm going to write one less than five. So you put your five objects. One less means that we take one away. Well done. So anyone that you like, take it away. Okay. How 
many have we got left? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Fantastic, we've got four. So I've written five and one less is four. Fantastic. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, I'm going to roll the dice. Oh, what did we get? We got five again. You already know one less than five. One less than five is four. Well done. Let's try again. Oh my goodness. Five again. Let's have another roll. <laughs> five again. Well done. One less than five is four. Well done. Woohoo. Well done. Right. Okay. So we have got well done. One, two, three, four. Does anyone know one less than four? If we've got four and we take one away, well done. Let's count and see if you're right. So check that you got four. You should already have four because that was our last one. Okay, check that you got four items. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to write four just here. And the number is four. Okay, and I'm going to take one away. You take one away. Okay, off you go, count and check. One, two, three. <gasps> One less than four is three. Should we check that on our number line? We find four. If we go back one, one less is three. Fantastic. Okay, we'll do one last one, okay? Let me roll the dice. So we don't want a four and we don't want a five. Give it a good roll. Oh, it's rolled right over there. Oh, the biggest one. Well done. Do you know that number? Oh, fantastic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fantastic. Six. Ah, oh, six fell down. Let me put six back up. Okay, so I'm going to write six just here. If you're writing things down right now, you can write six on your paper. Six. Okay, so you need to put six objects back. So I've got one, two, three. Oh, I need to double it. I need to get another three. One, two, three. Can you see all those? Okay, check that you've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six. So one less means we take one away. Fantastic. Let me take the hedgehog away. You take one of yours away. Do you know what it is before we count? Well done. Let's check. Six. Stay up there. Right, ready? So we had six. We took one away. We've got one less. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Let me write that down. Five. Okay, so what I want you to do today, when you turn this video off, is you can carry on doing that. So if you've got a dice, go ahead, do exactly the same as we did. If you haven't got a dice, your mummy or daddy could just tell you the first number and then you can take one away. Or you could make some number cards, okay? And then you could just choose one. You could put them all face down so that you can't see them. Like this. You could pop them all down on the floor. Can you see them then? Let me move my things. Okay, and then you could just choose one. Number six, well done. And then write down six, count out six objects and take one away. Okay, if you do some of that and if you record it as well, or even if you're just counting, make sure that you post it on Class Dojo. Okay, we'd love to have a look. Fantastic. Okay, we shall see you later on. Have a lovely day.